Hi, Angie. Can you hear me okay? I can, Colleen. I'm going to start right now if that's cool with you. Wonderful. Great talking to you again. Excellent. All right. Yeah, you too. Here we go. Hey there, Angie Austin here with the good news, friend. Well, the good news for many of us is that our kids are going back to school. I love summer, but mm, it's time to go back. Well, joining us is Colleen Burns, yeah. mom on the run and mother to six boys. She's here to help with her tips and shortcuts for helping moms and dads with the back to school rush. Hey, Colleen, welcome back. Oh, great to be here again, Angie. And that's funny. It is kind of the dirty little secret that we want our kids to go back to school. It's just a nice break for us parents. But um, it's a big transition. And it's, it's a crazy time of the year. And I do like to keep things fresh and interesting for my kids with new recipes that makes this transition season easier. So I usually stock my pantry with things for quick and easy meals. If you haven't tried yet, Angie, this um, sriracha mayo from Lee Kum Kee, it's really a game changer. It adds extra flavor to everything. It's a sriracha mayo mix. It's just so good. So you can drizzle that just on top of a chicken salad sandwich, an easy recipe for your school lunch. And it's made with cage-free eggs. I love that. But yeah, that's a great um, item that you can just add to anything you're making. If your kids like that extra flavor, uh, really, really good. And they also, uh, Lee Kum Kee has a line of Panda brand ready sauces. These are in pouches, bottles. You can find them in the Asian aisle of your local grocery store but they include orange chicken and you can make restaurant quality Asian food at home in just minutes. And it does, it tastes like takeout and it's literally minutes. So you can just mix for their orange chicken sauce, diced chicken, peppers, and onions. You throw that in the um, frying pan uh, and you just dice up, you know, you just cook up that diced chicken, the peppers, the onion, just minutes. You add the sauce and you're done. I mean, I usually add a little sesame seed to the top, you can make some rice with that, but that is literally a meal in less than 15 minutes. And it's perfect and simple to prepare when things are hectic. And during the school year, it's always hectic. So um, those are just some great things to keep in your pantry to make life a lot easier when you've got a really uh, crammed, packed, you know, dinner or dinner hour where you just kids coming and going. Okay. Cause so a couple of things, um, we use mayo, like I buy it in bulk and have it shipped to me. And I know that sounds crazy, but there's um, six of us and three of the kids are uh, teenagers. So they always have mm. kids over and we're making sandwiches and they're all, including my husband, obsessed with mayonnaise. But the idea to add the flavor in there, sriracha, I already looked it up. I found it on Amazon. And so I've already got that. I guess it's 15 oh, ounces. Good, so good, that's good. a killer idea. But I already use these sauces in the little pouches. And here's the mm, coolest good. thing about it for me. Normally, I can't make something that tastes authentic, right? And I'm not going to go out and get the fish sauce and then this oh, curry right, right. thing and then find the ginger and then, like, where is the fish sauce, you know? And then I need coconut, like, milk or something. I just give up, right? So then I don't make it homemade. But if you take, like, the hosoin sauce, I think that's how you pronounce it, and then there's another one that's kind of like a, a Szechuan style, like spicy, You like you just said, if you put your nuts in there and your veggies and, and it's healthy and your, um, like, clean chicken, it tastes just like you mentioned. It tastes like from the restaurant that I haven't ever been able to obtain pre-sauces. <laughs> Right, right. It, it, it's so easy. I mean, it really, I mean, I kind of feel guilty because it takes so little time, <laughs> but it's a perfect meal on a busy night. And so, yeah, I mean, I just, I stock my pantry with all the sauces. It, they've got some great ones. There's honey sesame chicken. There's uh, beef and broccoli. The beef and broccoli literally is beef, broccoli, and the sauce. I mean, that's it. So, and you can add a little extra to it, but how easy is that? And then, you know, like I said, just some yeah. minute rice. But it that also, actually, I don't know if you- Everyone will eat. Oh, yeah. And now I don't know if yeah, you got on board own. that that baked feta pasta TikTok trend. Did you do that during the pandemic? Like where you have the block of feta cheese with the tomatoes, the basil, you put it in the oven. When everything's all melty, you just mix it with the pasta. Did you do that? Oh, my gosh. That sounds amazing. You didn't? No, my kid learned oh my how gosh. to make fettuccine Alfredo homemade, but I didn't try that one. Oh, okay. So this is so easy. So it's literally a block of feta cheese. It's tomatoes, like cherry tomatoes, some basil. And you just cook it long enough for it to get melty. And then you just mix it, a little olive oil with your pasta. So good. And what mm -hmm. I realized, I kind of fell back in love with feta cheese when I was doing this. And I realized that feta is a really great swap for every cheese because it has that great tangy, salty flavor. So you can add it into other things that you used to use, you know, other cheeses for. Athenos is the number one feta brand in the country. That's my go-to. 
but you can make cute mm -hmm. little feta and fruit skewers for your lunchbox or a snack. And then I like to make turkey burgers. I think it's a better swap than the ground beef burgers, but you can add some crumbled feta on the top. Um, it just makes it kind of interesting, some arugula, some tomatoes, some red onion. I also like to stuff the burgers with the feta because then it gets all melty and then you've got like that nice little bite. So, um, yeah, yeah, so those are some easy, um, and fairly healthy dinner ideas. Okay. You're totally cracking me up because as I'm listening to you, keep in mind that, you know, I'm sure I'm getting older, Colleen, but <laughs> I thought you said a healthy, like you're making a healthy slop, like putting all the stuff in the, in the, um, in the microwave. And I thought you said healthy slop, like, you know, slop, oh, S L O P. Oh, sorry. And you were saying slop. swap. I need to enunciate better. No healthy no, slop. it's me. That's hilarious. No healthy <laughs> slop is being made here today. But I was thinking of all the stuff that you, know, you warm up in the microwave and slop it all together. Okay, so I love that idea. I will try that. Um, the thing I run into that is that I'm sure you do too is I'll have to make the feta one for me, my mom, my husband, and one of the kids, and I'll have to make a mozzarella one for the two that I can barely feed. You know what I mean? We have to sneak oh. things in their food. But I, lo I love you the do, idea of keep... sticking it in uh, a burger. Right, right. Um, where I'm from Minnesota. We, I think we invented the Juicy Lucy, and that's like where you have the cheese inside of the burger, whatever kind of cheese it is. And I just, I love those. We make those all the time. But I will say that kids can be picky. Um, I understand that. But, you know, I just kept trying, trying, trying. So don't, you know, not try to give them feta because eventually – they'll get used to it and they'll love it. But, um, I did, I know over time, I just, it took me forever to get the kids to like blue cheese and things like, you know, um, ridiculous clams and, you know, um, mussels. Like it, it took a while, but, you know, I think it's important to expand their, you know, what mm -hmm. they like to eat and, and just saying, Oh, you mm -hmm. don't like that. I won't give that to you anymore. Sometimes you have to just keep trying and, you know, you might be surprised. Well, and I do this thing. I did it last night. We did kind of a, I don't know, a, Gr a Greek deal where you put the pita down and then a little bit of hummus and we had hero's meat. Well, and I said Ooh. to my mom, I'm like, as we cooked together, I said, mom, you have to hide the feta. Like it can't be on top. It's got to be in the middle with cheese on top of it <laughs> melted so that the two that think they don't eat it will eat it and not know it's yes. there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not even Good that they move. don't like it. It's that they think they don't like it. Right. Of course. Of course. That's how kids are. <laughs> Okay, so what about, um, you know, we're buying all our school supplies. My kids actually started. We just got back from Minnesota from a nine-day oh. way up north, you know, camp, uh, camp, family camp. Rusted. Did you go to the Boundary so Waters we or where did to, you go? We went to Rapid we City, three hours oh. north of, uh, okay. of the Twin sure. Cities for like yep, this yep. hippie camp, I call it, where you have to cook and <laughs> I took care of the kids and it's like, kind of communal like my dad turned me on to it because he taught tai chi there yes. so yeah it's, wonderful uh, uh, we we came right back from there from minnesota and boom like they started school the next day so i haven't even finished buying their school supplies oh sure yeah that's a, that's a thing um and also this is something i want to mention because a lot of us as parents you know this is a time of the year to kind of check their health and you know the vaccines have to be up to date you know all the other stuff and I think most parents are good at getting those dental exams in. And I think sometimes we think that those vision and hearing screenings at school have the kids covered, but it's really not the same as comprehensive exams. So school vision exactly. screenings can, can miss issues like focusing problems, farsightedness, and proper vision, as you know, is so important for kids' success in and out of the classroom. You want to catch that early because you don't know what they don't know. And so like regular dental visits, you want to take advantage of your health insurance plan. Check your child's eye health regularly. United Healthcare Vision covers comprehensive eye exams. Plus they offer discounts for screen protectors and laptops that help protect eyes from excessive blue light exposure. We're learning more and more about how damaging that is. So, and, and it's recommended that kids should have comprehensive eye exams, not just the school exams, at least every two years. So that's, that's important and something that parents should keep in mind. You know, it's interesting you say that because this year the baseball coach required that the boys all get um, eye exams because he said Ooh. they come back from college and they're like, coach, you know what the problem was with me in the outfields? I couldn't <laughs> see the ball. So right, he right. required they all, yeah, 
he required they all get it done. And my daughter does, one of my daughters does as well because she wears glasses. My son actually was covered. First of all, it's almost always covered. I have United Health too. It's almost always Good. covered for a lot of these exams. And he even mm-hmm. got his blue light glasses cost me like $12 because they were covered. Oh, good. And he doesn't, good. he doesn't need a prescription. And then secondly, when it comes to those dental things, two cleanings with uh, my insurance is, is included a year. And um, mm-hmm. you, you go to those. I mean, that is free right. upkeep for your kids' teeth. And what I do as a mom, I make four appointments at once. So I take my mom and all three kids and we go in at the same time or back to back. And sometimes they can divide it up if you book in advance and all four of them could be done in the same hour. Oh, yes. I know. I, I definitely understand how to do that. Like just the getting you all together at the same time. And you're such a good daughter. You're yeah. taking care of your mom too. You're like that sandwich generation. I mean, that's just, that's a lot. So good for you that you're Colleen, doing all that. Colleen, she, she, lives, she lives in our basement. Believe me, it is, it is my cross to bear. <laughs> <laughs> and you love her. And I love her. I do love her. We cook together a lot. All right, so what? what oh, lunches. Um, last year, you know, they were all free. I don't know if they were for you, but I think federally all lunches were free. This year, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we're back to buying lunches and da-da-da-da. And I'm sending supplements for the kids because they're all in sports. So um, I'm having a hard time figuring out like healthy things to send along to supplement the lunch because the lunch isn't that big for a teenager. Right, right. And if you want to make the whole lunch at home too, I mean, that's a thing. Um, And I I usually do, and I think we've talked about it before, I usually do a, a meal board in my kitchen that lets, you know, me and the kids know what's for dinner every night because when I go to the grocery store, I forget what I bought and I don't want to forget it in the fridge and then it's expired. So I do all the the meal planning, but you can do that for lunches as well. And another hack is to freeze your sandwiches. You can freeze your sandwiches, you know, peanut butter and jelly, throw it in the freezer, keeps your rest of your um, lunch cold. You can also freeze a juice box. I always like to look for hundred percent juice, you know, but, um, but you, you can freeze those that helps, you know, to be the ice of your lunch. But yeah, and, and also, you know, throw in a little note if you can, just let your kids know that you've got their back, you're supporting them, you're thinking about them during the day, uh, that emotional support is helpful as well. Oh, Colleen, we're almost out of time. Grand Grand makes their uh, breakfast every morning hot and made to order. So these kids are so lucky. Where do we go oh, to, uh, for more info to get all your hacks? I have one quick other little thing I want to mention, and it's just oh, that yes, um, indoor cameras have really decreased my stress level because you can't always see everything in your house and when you're gone, whatever. So I installed, and when I say install, I really mean just plugging in these new super user-friendly indoor cam P24s. They're from Eufy, spelled E-U-F-Y, but they record human and pet motion. So that's important. I like to keep track of my Frenchie. There's no monthly subscription. And the AI and the cameras are amazing. Follows up to 360 degrees to capture motion and alerting you to things like crying babies. And if your kids beat you home, I can talk back in real time from my phone to ask my kids about their day when they get home from school. So, so that's an easy thing. And it's not expensive. It's $55. Just gives you a peace of mind. But for more information on all these products, you can visit dailylounge.com. And we use those when we're on vacation to watch grandma to make sure she's getting around. So they have so many uses. Thanks, Colleen. We're like, we're like twins. We like all the same things. Thanks, honey. (laughs) Thank you.